In this video, we'll be looking at how to do basic Excel math. So when we actually select a cell, we can easily type in our numbers or we can type in uh, letters, whichever way it needs to be. Um, but Excel also has some power fun powerful functionality in the regard to I can actually go through and type in actual equations, for instance, two plus two, and find out what that equals to. The only thing is with Excel, once I hit enter on that, it actually just leaves it as two plus two. It doesn't actually calculate it for me. So what I need to do for Excel is I need to inform it that I want you to calculate that for me, not just display it in that way. So the way that we can actually do this is actually by using the symbol equals. By typing equals in, what we can actually do is we can actually tell Excel with this that we want you to calculate something. If we then go through and type in two plus two, it looks like it's going to be the same as this top one up here. However, what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to hit enter on that and it actually calculates that cell value. Now, it kind of works quite well for me. So if I wanted to, I could even replace that with two and then two. But if I was to change any of these numbers, so for instance, two plus, just so you don't lose what I'm doing. So currently I'm doing two plus two equals four. So you can actually see that. Um, just to format that up a little bit nicer, I'm just gonna come in to my border tools and just go top and bottom border, just so I can see that. The other thing is, if I actually come along and actually change one of these numbers from two to let's say three, nothing actually happens because my formula is actually specifically stating two plus two. So let's actually have a look at this. The very first thing is it's actually stating a specific number. I would actually have to change the number here as well as the number here for it to calculate. So let's make that a little bit easier. We're actually using just basic numbers there. So we're actually going to make these specific to the cell. So to do this, I'm actually going to go through and delete. Oh, actually, no, let's just copy this. And I'm just gonna go over to cell F. So you can actually see I've just copy pasted that and I'm gonna delete that one there. So you can actually see it's the same. So just to reiterate what we've done so far, the very first one is that is currently typing in equals two plus three, and that equals five. If I change these numbers to whatever it is, that number doesn't change. Let's return that to three. What we can do though, is when we actually type in equals, and remember equals is telling Excel that it, we want it to calculate something we can actually then click or type in the cell reference. So we can see G, this number here, this one here, this two. It's actually G two and it's in row two and it's in column G. So I'm going to type in G two. And you can actually see that it's turned blue and highlighted the cell that I was referencing. If I add that cell to G three, which is G column and the row is three, it also turns it and it does color code it so you can tell the difference between the letters. So the blue G2 is the blue square, the red G3 is the red square. If I hit enter on that now, it still equals five, even though this here is a lot different to this here. What the difference is, is if I actually come along and change those numbers from two plus, let's say four, you can see that that number updates straight away. Let's just try it again. Let's say two plus 10 and click away. It will update that number for us. I can even change the top number. So let's write 22. And you see that that number updates every single time. That is what Excel Maths is. The next thing though is a little bit different. So that is for addition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to come in, merge my cells and write addition and keep that very very nice and pretty. And I might even color the cell to make it look nice. Okay. The next one we're going to do is we're going to do multiplication. So I'm just going to return that to two and three. The next one we're going to do is multiplication. And multiplication is a little bit different. Again, I'm going to just merge those cells and color them. Multiplication works the same way in the sense of it doesn't use that symbol there. That is not multiplication. That is an X to a computer. Multiplication symbol is actually the asterisk. And you can get this by pressing shift 
and the 8 key. And if you have a number pad on your keyboard, you could also use the key above 9. So there are options to do that, but it is a little asterisk icon. Let's again use 2 and 3. And in actual fact, let's use some other numbers, 4 and 2. Okay. Again, I'm going to do top and bottom on my cell formatting just so it stands out a little bit better. And I could go 4 times 2, and this won't work. The reason why it won't work is because I haven't put an equal sign at the front, and the main reason is Excel doesn't think it needs to calculate that. So it's just going to have 4 asterisks too. So just make sure you type in that equal sign and then type in 4 times 2. And not with some random symbols either. <laughs> and that says 8. But again, if I change those numbers, so let's say 3, it doesn't work for us. So rather than actually having that there, I'll delete that off. I'm actually going to come in and go equals and type in J2. Again, you can see that. And then instead of actually having the plus symbol, which we had before, we're going to replace that with a time symbol. So from that there, we actually then can type in J3, which is that cell there. We hit enter and it will calculate it for us. And just double check that if thing works, replace the two with a three. And if it updates, that's working. The same thing again, we're going to be doing for division. And the symbol for division is forward slash. Now, sometimes you might actually have a little bit of an issue typing that one in, especially if you don't have the equal sign. So when I was in a cell, and I did just have a little bit of a mental gut there, if you try and type it in, it actually brings up a menu with shortcut commands. Um, if you can't type something in for whatever reason, you can select the cell and then select the formula bar and you can type in there. It knows what you're after then. Hit enter and I'll just write a line in these. That is the division symbol. So again, you could possibly go, let's say 12 divided by four. What I want you guys to do is to actually try and challenge yourself to create that one as well as I want you to do one for subtraction and subtraction is relatively simple because it is also using that same minus symbol that you guys would be used to. The only thing is, as I type in that minus, if I try and click away, you'll see some other numbers come up, the cell reference. We'll get to that in a moment. So minus and hit enter, we'll solve it for you. Again, I'm just right aligning. I want you guys to go through and uh, have attempt at that. Before you do, the final thing is, you've got addition, multiplication, division, and subtraction. The final one that it is, is it's going to be to the power of and that symbol is the little hat icon when you hold down shift and press six. That is to the power of, so it's two to the power of three and three to the power of two, etc. cetera. Um, that's more of a mathematical thing you'll probably be learning this year if you haven't learned it already. Um, but also, have, again, have a crack at that one as well. Other than that, you need to make sure that you've completed the following tasks there. And I need you to also create a table just summarizing the different symbols of addition, multiplication, subtraction, etc. just in this section here. Finally, label your sheet Excel Math. Once you've finished, move on to the next video.